Welcome to Cooking in Finland, formerly known as Cooking in Russia. In this episode, chicken piccata roulade filled with smoky asparagus. This is based on an old classic but improved with the smoky asparagus and other flavors. The ingredients for this are somewhat up to you as to what you prefer in terms of the amount of garlic, capers, and lemon. The first step is to trim the asparagus. Snap it off to find where the tender part meets the coarse stem. Then trim it up a bit shorter and peel it. You can be fairly aggressive with the peeling because you want it to be very tender inside of the chicken. Coat the trimmed asparagus liberally with salt and olive oil. Get a grill pan very hot, or better yet, a charcoal grill outside. Sear the asparagus deeply to impart a smoky flavor. When you are satisfied that it's mostly cooked, tender, and smoky, set it aside and begin to trim the chicken breasts. I'm working very slowly here to try to make it clear. Your goal is to end up with a perfectly smooth and roughly triangular piece of meat that you will next pound into a rectangle of uniform thickness. You need to cut off edges, tough parts, and any loose little bits. The scraps you cut off are good for soups, stews, or Chinese stir-fry dishes. Make sure it's between two layers of clean film, and obviously the thick part is where you really need the pounding. Then we're just going to unwrap these and coat them in flour. To prepare the lemon suprems, begin by cutting the ends of the lemon off and then trim it into a barrel shape. Once it's in a barrel shape, you can cut the suprems out and of course remove the seeds from the suprems as you do so. And take the parsley, just run a knife through it a few times. You don't have to be meticulous about this. Now you have all of the ingredients assembled, except for, of course, the capers. Got some salt packed capers here. Some water like this. Drain them on a sieve. Repeat the process about three times to try to get as much of the water off as you can. Then we're just going to leave them sit here to drain until we need them. Okay. We've got a pan here. I'm going to put about half of the butter in. Okay, when the butter begins to foam up like this. You can add 
chicken rolls. Uh, I've been asked recently to um, specify the heat setting on the stove. This is a little difficult on a gas stove compared to the electric one because there's no numbers and also because there's different sized burners with fairly seriously different amounts of uh, BTUs that come out of them. So I'm using the smallest burner here but I have it set on the almost the highest setting. So um, it's still not a lot but I mean, if I put it on a high burner, the, the powerful burner, uh, then it would just burn before it ever cooked on the inside. What we want to do is we want to get some browning on the outside, but we want to make sure that we don't overcook the, uh, the outside so that it gets tough. Let me give it a turn every once in a while. Okay, once you've gotten it to the point where uh, it's got some sear on, on all sides, so you can add the garlic. How much garlic you add is up to you. Uh, as you can see, I'm being quite aggressive with the amount of garlic here because I, <laughs> I really love garlic in this dish. But, um, you know, if I was making this for a guest in a restaurant, I would use maybe a third this much garlic, maybe even less depending on the country. Uh, I should mention that I've now turned the heat down a little bit. It, it's still, uh, it's about three quarters high, but it's on the, the smallest burner. And what we're waiting for now is to see that there's some, starting to get some golden color on the garlic. Also, as you move this around, you can feel through the tongs, if you, you're paying attention, you can feel that the chicken's starting to get firm. And you can also notice there's, there's starting to be some browning on the garlic. So now I'm going to turn the heat down. And the next thing that gets added is this caper. We want to fry the capers in the, in the garlic and butter a little bit before we continue. So it's just for really, just for like 30 seconds and then we'll continue. Okay, in 30 seconds we're going to add a pinch of the herbs. All of the parsley. Just down here. Now I'm going to turn the heat down. The garlic's starting to get crisp. Capers are cooked. Roll this around a little bit. Put the uh, lemons, lemon segments, I should say. And there's the wine. I'm going to cook this down with a lid on it now. Okay, it's been about one and a half minutes. So pull the chicken off to plate to reserve it. Now we're going to add the rest of the butter. Turn the heat back up a little bit. Okay, I've turned the heat back all the way up looking for is we want all the butter to melt and to begin just slightly browning and then the sauce is done. Okay, then we're just going to basically pour this over the, the chicken. You can add a little bit more parsley to, to pick up the green color because this parsley is now been turned into a dark green brown <laughs> from cooking with the lemon juice. But it's it's ready. If you hold it up you can see it's perfectly cooked through. <laughs> 